My fun fact is that I like to come into the office early and leave late. That joke was almost as cringe as me wearing the AirPods while recording this video. Or the fact that my second fun fact is that I've made 60,000 cold calls in my software sales career. If you are interested in understanding yourself, if you are doing enough to be successful and to get ahead in your career, that I'm talking to you in this video. It is currently 7.33 p.m. I was leaving the office and then I started thinking, Trent, you're cutting corners, you have not made your video today, and one of the most asked questions you get on TikTok in the comments, which are incredibly positive and fuel me to keep pushing to maximize my potential, they say, Trent, does anybody else work in your office? And why are you always in the office? I come into the office four days a week. I typically show up around 7.30 a.m. and I usually leave between 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. And there's a purpose for this. Let me explain to you now. But let me start with a story. I like the NBA. I've been following the trades and it's, it's fun and it's exciting to think about the potential and how the different players will impact the teams and their abilities to be successful. It's like you and your career, you as a salesperson, you're contributing revenue, you have that three point jump shot and if you're in the right place, the right time in the right situation, you can help your team win a championship. Maybe your team has a big exit and goes public. But as you think about two players that you're gonna bet on, player A, and player B. They, co they both come from similar backgrounds, they have similar vertical jumps, they have similar speed, similar mental abilities, but one player, player A, takes a thousand more shots a day and they stay in the gym an extra hour a day. As you play that out over the course of a 10-year career, player A is gonna be way more successful than player B, even though they have the same natural talent, because player A, is fully all in, determined, and focused. And I always thought to myself that I would play in the NBA one day. I wasn't very good. I never made the middle school basketball teams. That's, a, that's another story. And it's also gonna play into the point that I'm not above average. I'm just a normal guy, but I like to show up each and every day because I'm like player A, I'm gonna put in the extra work in the gym. I'm not the fastest. I don't have the best jump shot. I don't have the highest IQ, but I am going to work to get all the loose balls. I am gonna decide to make the most cold calls each and every day. I am gonna decide to do the mundane tasks like prospecting, using LinkedIn Sales Navigator, making the ask when it's really uncomfortable. I am willing to do the other things that other people may not want to be doing because I know that those are the things that I need to be doing. I always thought, hey, if I were the number one draft pick, I got all the recognition, and I had all this potential to be successful and to change the course of a franchise, then I would make the most of it. I probably wouldn't be drinking overly excessively on the weekends. I would probably be getting eight hours of sleep at night. I would be drinking at least a gallon of water a day. I'd be eating pretty healthy. Oh, and as a matter of fact, think of yourself as a corporate athlete. That's what I do. I think of myself as if I'm the number one draft pick and I have everything, every day it's something new to prove and every day I have to spend more time in the gym. And that's my overall philosophy with coming into the office early and leaving late. I got a 19 on my ACT. I'm not here because of my looks. I'm not here because of my personality. I'm not here because I had any connections. I got hired into tech sales. I never had a sales job. I never had an internship. I had no connections. I had no family members saying, Trent, this is what you, you ought to be doing. It was me figuring it out on my own. Me identifying, I want to leave the state of Ohio. I don't like the winners here. How do I get a job in a big city that's not Ohio? So I started applying to companies. I applied to literally 50 plus companies. I got told no by dozens of companies. I got flown out to Boston to interview with the company and they didn't even give me a job offer. That was my experience getting started. And then when I first started in tech sales, okay, I wasn't good. I was a sales development rep. They handed me a headset. They said, Trent, you're gonna be calling. I said, who am I gonna be calling? What am I gonna be saying? And it was a lot of trial and error. Everyone around me, you can see it's an open office. And this could be you at one of these desks right here. It was an open office. Everyone could hear my calls and they say, Trent, you sound like a used car salesman. I talk really fast, I'd get nervous. That was a long time ago. But, I, but when I finished as the last SDR of my team that first month out of like 30 people, is this for me? Am I gonna be able to do it? But then I had a realization at that moment 
where I said, you know what, Trent, you've gotten to this point by being willing to be that guy that goes the extra mile. So you should just make more calls than everyone else. Let's just simplify things. Let's just say you show up early, you leave late, and you decide to make more calls. Will the rest take care of itself in your favor? Maybe, maybe not. And over the course of these five years, almost rounding up, I've promoted multiple times, I've increased my financial conditions, I've increased my confidence, and I've gotten to a point where I now bring a camera into my office, I set it up, I talk into it, I post it on the internet for all of my colleagues, all of my friends, all of my family, for the entire world to see, because I wanna talk about what has worked for me, because I'm sure that if some of you also adopt my strategies, it will help you be more successful. So if you're sitting there thinking, am I doing enough to be successful? Ask yourself, you're the only one who can answer that question. You're the only one that looks at yourself in the mirror with the shirt off, with, okay, am I taking care of my body? Am I doing everything mentally, reading books, journaling, thinking about introspection? Am I watching too much TV? Am I watching too many video games? You know if you were doing enough to maximize your potential. And the way I look at it is, what do I want to be known for? I want to be known for the guy who works extra hard, the, the guy that's willing to, to dive for the loose balls, that's willing to do whatever for their teammates to contribute what they can to the team so the overall team, the overall company can be more successful. If I am not working a deal, I am prospecting. If I'm not prospecting, I'm doing self-development. If I'm not doing self-development, I'm working on helping somebody else. If the activity doesn't fit in one of those time buckets from 7.30 a.m., to 6 p.m., then I'm gonna say no to it. I'm not gonna do it. As soon as 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. hits, that's when I start to think, okay, what can I do to help others? What can I do in my free time to build my X factor to either become top 1% in my field by selling more software, prospecting, learning about it, or can I talk about my journey and my career. I've only been working for four and a half years, but yet I still show up and make these videos. I'm not an expert. I don't have certifications. I don't have someone saying, Trent, this is what you should say. No one shows up and says, Trent, do you, do you want to make money online? Trent, do you want people to watch your videos? Do you want people to engage with your stuff? No one's brought this to me. I had to go take it. So in my free time, I got to be willing to take risks and put myself out there. And that plays into the narrative why I stay in the office four days a week, because what else would I be doing with that time? Someone commented on my TikTok post and they say, you gotta be more efficient. You gotta work your 40 hours and then build a life. As a mid to 20 year old guy that's single, that wants to be wildly successful, I'm like, what else would I be doing with my time at 7.30 p.m. on a weekday other than working? I can't think of a single other thing I would rather be doing than working, speaking to you, in this video right here, right now. I'm glad I got that message out. No scripts, off the cup, still got AirPods in. What if I told you I was listening to music or a podcast, audiobook this whole time? It's, there's actually nothing in my AirPods. I'm gonna end the video right now. If you enjoyed it, subscribe, share this message with a friend, take a deep look in the mirror into your soul. And you're the only one who can answer if you were doing enough to be successful. I'll see you in the office, bye.